Absolutely. Zero is sitting very, very comfortably at number one. I don't even think between any of the PGR seasons there was ever a question that he wouldn't be one. All right. Um, so obviously, you know, the Fox comes out here on Larry Lurr's behalf. Yes, sir. I'm really interested to see who Zero could go because he does play the best Diddy Kong in the world, but he has a very, very, very strong Lucina. Persistent Blade is so strong, he even has his own Twitter account. Right. Also, I just want to uh, say that Nairo also knocked Captain Zack into losers yesterday. Okay. So, yeah, he has been he is the on Bale a tear Slayer. against Bayonetta, yes. And the set count between these guys is 12 to 4 in Zero's favor. So, four sets for Larry. Over zero is actually pretty huge. I believe Anti has the same number. Okay. So this is definitely something tough for Larry or for Zero to overcome. But recently he's been doing real well in this matchup. Uh, you gotta know how to fight versus both of these two characters here. Banana pill stuffing out the fox losing, fresh out the gate, looking to get him off stage, and that he does. And this pressure from Zero. Just so fierce at the edge, knowing that Fox has to commit to one of those very predictable and linear recovery oh. options. And it doesn't help that both these two characters are combo food. Yes, for sure. And I feel like Fox's combo game on Diddy is actually a little bit stronger than the reverse. You see a lot of dash attacks, up tilts, up airs, really working on Diddy Kong. Uh oh, pretty gets the high up there. Yeah, gets the forwarder that time. Okay, catches him with the down tilt. Nice air dodge on Zero's behalf. Yeah, but the frame traps from Larry, a little bit too clean. If you air dodge the up air, you got the nair waiting for you immediately. There it is, but that defense was very clean as well, punishing the dash attack and getting Larry off stage. Speaking of clean defense, very smart by Larry to go high uh -oh. over to the left platform with his illusion, making sure Zero can't trap his landings. Okay, both of them got their feet back onto the stage here. Very, very safe game. Neither one of them, excuse me, really wants to overcommit to anything. And Fox being so light, yes, he's in danger and actually going to drop the first stock with it, the lead. Yeah, it almost looked like that wasn't going to quite kill. Okay, gets the, okay, tries to go for the down, uh, down air, excuse me, into the reverse up smash that time. And man, that's the beauty of Smash Brothers. Of course, percents are not life bars. You can be up and still die first. And that's exactly what's going to happen right there. Now Fox, a character who has so much kill power, but some trouble landing the kill moves at high percents. He's got to get either a soft neutral air to up smash, down air to up smash, air dodge trap into back air or up air. But is uh -oh. he going to even get that luxury? Okay, three Fox losers in a row, stuffed out by the forward air. Just throwing out a hitbox. It's keeping Larry Lair off stage. It's so difficult for him to try to get his feet back planted again. Zero just doesn't stop, man. Once the bleeding happens, there's just not too much you can do. And he's barely hit zero since he lost his first stock. Yeah. Larry was looking so good before, but now kind of grasping at straws for this kill. Oh, God. Dunk. Oh, yes. God. Wow. TSM zero. What a monster. He sees you off stage with no jump, man. This this is definitely the spike guy with Diddy Kong. Clouds, beware. Fox, pretty much just as easy, if not a little easier, because you get all that warning. <laughs> Fire! You know, both of these two players can be very aggressive, uh, but one thing I always love about them is, you know, the, the very opportunist play style that they have. You know, it's safe. It's a very safe gameplay. Uh, fresh out the gate and then towards the tail end. They see that opening and they take it. Right, and you saw Larry kind of falling apart and deviating from that style as he was just looking for up smashes left and right oh God. toward the end of that match. Oh, I don't know how Zero missed that. I feel like that was curtains or at least could have been real close, but Larry I'll counting his what, blessings. Yeah, man. we won't see it happen twice. Yeah, he's like, man, I just got one. You're making me do this again? Right. <laughs> I'll let you off the hook this time, kid. And Zero keeping the pressure on here, trying to catch a lot of Larry Lair's landings here, but okay, a very quick recovery. Catches the get up there with the up tilt. Okay, landing neutral air to dash attack. Some of those bread and butters from Fox, man. That soft air, even if it's not into an up smash, still gonna get so much stuff off of it. There's like so many situations where I think Larry Lair won't catch you with the up tilt and it won't convert to up air, and Larry proves me wrong every time. Oh, no way. Almost gonna die to that at only 90%. Uh oh, catches him. Difficult to recover. The runoff forward air has to. Okay, like Firefox is back Very to the smart. stage. Yeah, goes high. Nice uh, stage awareness there to get on that top platform. And even if he didn't go high onto the platform, at least the timing was going to be mixed up by going for up B. Zero is definitely looking for side B. Yes, sir. And committed to the edge guard already. Yep. Okay, banana peel back in hand. Uh, okay, and then he tries to use his uh, down special there to reverse it back to him. I'd like to see him do that a bit more. That throws a lot of Diddy Kongs for a loop. Jabs him off the stage. Larry, again, just looking so good at the early stages of the match, but not able to close these stocks out. Are we going to see a two stock? No, okay, okay, okay. Not that time. Yeah. I mean, he was already up there in percent, but we've seen it before. Yeah. 
wanted to bring himself back into this. You know, those two stocks, you know, are those very one-sided victories can be very, uh, you know, just detrimental to, you know, your uh, your mental here. And just like how well you're no comfortable in going into the next match. But tries to shine him, man, but this isn't melee. Larry looked like he second-guessed himself. Pretty hardcore once he knocked Zero off the stage there. There were a, a multitude of ways he could have gotten that done, but that said, there were a multitude of ways Zero could have recovered. And this guy, of course, he's the best in the world for a reason. He's not going to be predictable with how he gets back to the stage. Absolutely not. Okay, no, almost positioned himself properly to catch the ending of that box illusion. Zero gets Larry off stage again. Okay. I like the press there, and I like the positioning of the banana pill, and then caught the roll in with the down smash. Just standing up right into the banana. Oh, and barely missing that, but it doesn't matter. Gonna close it out with back air. Zero looking so strong in the set versus Larry Lur, someone who has managed to get quite a number of sets off of him in the past, but as of late, it's been Zero's favor, and you're seeing exactly why. Not enough landing mix-ups, recovery mix-ups, whatever you want to call it, in the world to throw TSM Zero off. Once he has you cornered, he has you cornered. And this guy's reaction is next level as well. You could bust out all the mix-ups in the world, but if it's something as linear and slow as Fox Illusion or Firefox, you're probably going to get hit yeah. by Zero. All right, and that's just not a Smash 4 thing. Like, that's an all Smash game thing. Like, you see that Fox losing, you yeah. see that Firefox, you get out there and you stick it to him, man. Yeah, your eyes should light up immediately. Oh, wow, and <laughs> able to just stuff the illusion with neutral air. Now, I've been told in the past when you see a Diddy Kong start going for down tilt, down smash, or they start throwing out Nair in the neutral, that's when they're feeling themselves 110%. Right, that neutral air, so much reward on landing into whatever area you want. Yeah, that means they're very comfortable, but. Fox, like we've talked about, you know, they make a lot of Diddy Kongs very uncomfortable. Gets right up off the ledge there, goes for the jab to give himself some space. Interesting enough, you know, Larry's been rolling a lot getting off the ledge. They have to try to avoid either down tilt or the banana pill, but that time just gets right up and jabs. This time, up smash not going to kill over on the left side, but it's going to do it there. Yep. Oh, wow. Even and with the one time stale yeah. and no rage on zero. All right. The first dose of Siege, you got to keep trying. It tries to go for the reverse up tilt. Yeah, multiple perfect pivots in that combo, making sure to get the optimal extension, but Larry just not able to get something crazy off of it. Zero able to trade also with falling forward air, making sure he can force his way back into the fight. Absolutely. He gets it back here for his troubles that time. Okay, Larry tries to go for a ledge trump, but okay, backs himself out of a corner. Very, very good. You know, I was actually really scared. You know, we've been seeing throughout the course of the day that after the ledge trump, uh, they really put themselves in a rough situation, either on the giving end or on the receiving end. And you can see how Larry is just hesitant to even try going off stage against Zero. And look at that. You get just punished so hard if you're forced into your up B. Zero gonna really blow him out of the water in that set. And like I said, it ain't happening twice, man. You know, you're not gonna be able. <laughs> you're not gonna be able to do that for free, man. He missed it once. He figured out where he was slacking. And he capitalized just there. Zero speedrunning CEO, it seems, as he advances to the winner's side of 